Tennessee. Tennessee. What part of the Bay do you live in? Uh, right now, I'm just north of San Francisco. Okay. 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 I know where that area is. Okay. Where? That's dope. So, um, you have this new song. Yes, I do. Okay. And it's an R&B song? Yeah, it's, it's R&B. It's got some uh, little soul, little like jazz intertwined in there. But yeah, it's mainly R&B. Sure. Okay, so the name of the song is called What You Gonna Do. Yeah, What You Gonna and Do. Did you produce the record yourself or who produced the record? I produced it. Really? Uh, so you produced too? I do, yeah. So I'm actually a jazz trained piano player originally. I was uh, about to ask you if yeah. um, you played any instruments, so I guess that answers my question. Yep. I played bass, um, I played, you know, kind of a little bit of everything, but I mainly piano is my, my main thing and so you know when I'm producing it's usually coming from that you know that theory knowledge and everything I learned from all my years of studying jazz. Okay so how did you hear about the Coalition DJs? You just did something with New Music Monday right? Yeah but actually it goes back probably like three years ago. Um, I have okay. a good friend named Colin Wolf who is uh, a like ill bass player producer has been a, you know been in the game for a long time did a lot of stuff in Atlanta with like Dallas Austin and you know Monica and all that stuff, uh, Goody Mob, and, you know, work with Too Short. Um, so actually, Too Short had an event in L.A., and uh, DJ X was out there. Okay. Yeah. So he actually invited my buddy Colin, so I tagged along with Colin, and I got to meet everybody down there. I, you know, got linked up with Lala. I got to perform um, in front of everybody. So, yeah, it was, it's been about three years. I know now. exactly what trip you're talking about. I actually yeah. was in L.A. a week before that doing some stuff with BET and Beethoven. So yeah. I didn't get to come to that trip. I had to like come back. You know, it's kind of like a long flight to be going back, going back there every weekend. It's a super drag to do that. So, or I would have met you too. Those were some dope events. Yeah. I think DJ yeah. Charisma was in there and everything. So now yeah. Monica, you had mentioned Monica. Did you ice the Monica Brandy? Stuff? You know what? I was actually, I, I was recording it last night and I didn't want to like kind of mess my vibe up. So I caught like little you know, parts of it, but I did catch when the, uh, Brandy was singing Change Gonna Come. Mm -hmm. uh, that Sam Cook song that, that was epic and you know I caught a few songs too it was, it was great to see for sure okay I love Sam Cook I do I love that song a lot oh. so you were recently featured on a song about the Black Lives Matter movement what is that about well that was actually a song specifically um, about uh, the killing of Trayvon Martin so that was um, a friend of mine named Colin Hay who's a legendary rock musician Grammy Award winner from the band uh, Men at Work I don't know if you remember them they had a hit um i come from a land down under and a few other ones but mm -hmm. anyway he had actually written the whole song and invited me down um to you know do a verse on it and this was actually we recorded it i feel like it was maybe like almost six years ago and then so it was really soon after trayvon was killed um and then it was released almost like a year or two after that um so yeah it was it was definitely a, an emotional track to write to say the least um i'm definitely glad we did it and, Mm -hmm. yeah, it turned out, turned out great, but you know, it was definitely born in tragedy. Right, I feel you. So I'm actually just excited that so many more eyes are opening, especially upon white America, about things that have been bothering people that live a lot that live, you know, for me, I know that I utmost like I practice the utmost compassion in everything that I do. And there's like a certain type of person that does that. And they're not everywhere. And I can tell by talking to you and just by you telling me that story that you are. So how does it feel? Are you kind of like irritated by it? Or are you like welcoming everybody jumping on the Black Lives Matter bandwagon and all the white people who are like checking each other's privilege and stuff? What do you think about that? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess, you know, for me, it's all about kind of people just learning and, and kind of, you know, even personally, like I didn't know about Black Wall Street, like the Tulsa massacre. I didn't even know about it until like, um, you know, Trump was gonna have his rally there and I found out about it. So right. you know, there's so much history that was hidden. Um, mm -hmm. And so I feel like that, all that stuff coming out and people kind of, you know, um, interested in learning about it and, and, you know, having conversations and tough conversations, I think all of that's important, you know? So uh, I'm definitely mm -hmm. with all that for sure. Oh yeah, exactly. Speaking of the Tulsa thing, did you ever watch uh, the show Watchmen? No, they had about, oh, you got to see that show. And now they have a new show that is on HBO. It's on the same station. It's not related, but it's like black sci-fi type stuff. It's really cool. It's called mm -hmm. Lovecraft Country. Have you heard about that yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, you got to watch those shows. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And it's just really great to see like black leads and it'll be 
you know, people now they have some somebody that looks like them that's a hero, which is an amazing, like something that, you know, we don't know what it's like not to have that, you know. Yeah. So yeah, but that's All really right. dope. Yeah, and that's another thing too, is that I still feel like I'm learning new stuff every day too, because it's like we it's, it's impossible to know everything. And if you're not learning, you're dying. You know what I mean? Okay, so now we did we talked about New Music Monday already. Now, how was your experience when you did New Music Monday? Can you tell me about that? Um, so the first one was, you know, because I got to perform live. It was, you know, it's kind of, I'm in my element. I love doing that. The second one was just playing my tracks, which was, I feel like, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really trying to decide, you know, I have a vault of music. And I had about, you know, three songs that, you know, I was basically like, which one should I kind of lead off with? So getting that kind of put it on you know all y'all's ears and kind of getting like real professionals opinions on which song was going to come out and like dj's opinions helped me pick out what i was going to put out for my first single the, the what you gonna do track so it was it was super helpful for me and you know just getting uh like i said you know just getting um, the knowledge and the feedback from professionals like that is super valuable i think sure. i was on that call i remember that call so before that did you have a time to do it at stankonia live no nah, i actually have i've only been to atlanta twice um and it, it was it was a while ago. I mean, my brother graduated from Emory. So, okay. Uh, and then I went one other time since then. So honestly, I can't wait till things kind of chill out with everything going on so I can get, get back there. Um, okay, I'm sure you, know. you could technically come back right now. Everything is open and, nobody, and everybody acts like nothing's happening. <laughs> See, that's what's crazy is here. It's like shut down completely. Like it's, it's mostly just be different, different mm -hmm. world out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So a lot of people are coming in down for like just a weekend to get away and kind of like, you know, walk around normal for a second with a mask on, you know, but still, you know. I might but, have to do that. Yeah, right. So adjusting to COVID, like how has it been adjusting to the new normal? Well, for me, it's been a, it's been a total trip. Like, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, I had a, a day job that I kind of helped to fund what I'm doing musically. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a travel based day job. So, you know, with everything going on, I, you know, lost that. So, you know, I, fortunately, I'd saved up enough money over time to where I, you know, I could just straight focus on my music. So for the first time in years, I was able to put like 100% and, you know, still going into, you know, my craft, which was amazing for me, you know, um, and also just taking care of myself. I think, you know, everyone kind of slipped into a little funk when it first started. Um, but, you know, I've been just, you know, working out. I've turned almost completely vegan almost overnight. I stopped eating meat. Um, you know, I've been meditating tons, just making sure, like, all the important stuff in my life I'm, I'm taking care of and, and elevating my game and all that stuff. So it, it's been, it's been rough, but it's been, you know, a blessing kind of in the skies for me in a sense, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel you on that because it's like, you can completely, you know, do everything internally that you need to do to work on. Like I, when I was out exercising earlier today, I went by a book box and it was like this, you know self how to control your emotions you know what i mean to have to have emotional health i'm like i'm gonna read this i want to like master everything like you know <laughs> yeah. so i feel you on that and i think that the reason why it's been so amazing to do that too is because if you didn't do that like the outside world and all the like grossness will like consume you don't you think yeah i mean i've had for for years so i actually had a crazy story i, I was um you know, I've always had like a little bit of anxiety, but it never really controlled me or nothing like that. And then I mm -hmm. got like electrocuted at work um, and it like messed me up like bad. So where like it, it basically took all these like kind of dormant feelings of like anxiety and stuff and just like boosted it like like adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. So I was having, having like panic attacks and it like really kind of took over my life, you know. So I, I know from just firsthand experience how important like keeping your mind right, like meditation and being healthy and all that because, you know, eating unhealthy and not working out and not taking care of your mind can just, it just makes all that stuff worse, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, especially with, with all the, you know, like with COVID, just like the climate, everything that's going on right now, it's really easy to slip back into those mental health, you know, that those issues, you know. So mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's got to, you know, make sure to take care of themselves for sure. I definitely recommend meditation for sure. Oh, yeah. And it's, you said you were electrocuted, you know, things like acupuncture and microcurrent and things like that could really help with you doing those type of treatments, a Reiki massage too. Okay, I haven't tried mm -hmm. any of those. Yeah, any of it. Just look, those are just some things to look into. So, the new song, What You Gonna Do? That's the name of the song, right? Yep. What You Gonna Do? Okay, good. So, what was the inspiration behind the song? Most of my music is love songs. Um, 
you know, all inspired by either like a relationship or, you know, someone I got a crush on or, you know, some sort of heartbreak or something like that. So this one specifically is just kind of like a late night, um, you know, thinking about you, I want to come through and, you know, okay. nothing too crazy, but it's, it's definitely a love song. And I want people to be able to kind of, you know, I feel like it's got that vibe where you can listen to it, uh, you know, kind of vibe down the club kind of atmosphere, but you can also put it on like the bedroom mix and like the, you know, laid back just with your, you know, significant other late at night type mix. So, you know, it's got a lot of different lanes it can fill, but yeah, it's a, it's a feel good love song for sure. Okay. Well, before we get into this record, make sure you tell everybody where they can follow you at on all your socials. So it's J-O-N-N-P-I-A-Z-Z-A, John Piazza. And that's on everything. So Instagram, Twitter, uh, my website, um, I got a YouTube channel as well with a lyric video um, for what you're going to do as well. And yes, the song's available on all platforms. So I hope y'all like it. Mm -hmm. Well, you heard it here first, John Piazza, the new yeah. song, What You Gonna Do? Let's go. Yeah. 